Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we can go about proving these results for the differential of cos x, which is minus cos x cos x, and the differential of sec x is minus than x sec x, and finally, the differential of cos x is minus cos x squared x. So, how do we go about proving these results? Well, we need to be familiar with differentiating shine x, cosh x, and than x. So I'm assuming that you've watched the previous video in this series. So for the first one here, let's just start off by writing down the differential with respect to x then of cos x. Now, cos x is the same as 1 divided by shine x. And that would mean that we need to differentiate this with respect to x. And I can change this as differentiating with respect to x shine of x all to the power minus 1. Now to differentiate this, I would need to turn to using the chain rule. And you should be familiar with this by now, and most probably should be able to do it in one go. But just as a reminder, what I'd do is let t equal shine of x. And that would mean that if I'm differentiating this with respect to x, it's exactly the same as differentiating with respect to t t to the power minus 1, as long as I multiply this by dt by dx. OK? So that's the chain rule that I'm going to be using to differentiate this. OK? So if we do that, differentiating effectively t to the minus 1 with respect to t is going to be minus 1 times t to the minus 2, but t is shine x, so it's going to be shine of x all to the power minus 2. And then I need to multiply this by dt by dx, the differential of shine x, which is cosh x. So you should be able to just squeeze that in there. And tidying this up, well, shine x to the my power minus 2, that's 1 over shine squared x, I'm going to separate that. We'll have the minus here. We'll put cosh x, OK, over just one of those shine x's. OK, so we've got shine x. And we'll multiply it with 1 divided by the other shine x. OK, and what does this come out at? Well, we've got negative, and cosh x over shine x is coth x. Should be familiar with that. And 1 over shine x, well, that is cos x. OK? So that proves the result up here. Now, when it comes on to differentiating sec x, it's going to be very similar to this method here, where we think of differentiating sec x as differentiating 1 over cosh x. So you might like to pause the video at this stage and try this one yourself. So I'll just give you a moment to do that. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So to differentiate them with respect to x, set x. I'm going to treat this as differentiating then with respect to x 1 over cosh x. OK? And I would change this to differentiating with respect to x cosh x to the power minus 1. And again, I'd have to use the chain rule. So I'd let t this time equal cosh x. So differentiating this using the chain rule, we've essentially got t to the power minus 1 here. 
So differentiating that with respect to t would give me minus t to the power minus 2. t being cosh x though, that gives me minus 1 times cosh x all to the power minus 2. And then we multiply that by the differential of t with respect to x. Differential of cosh x then is shine x. So cleaning this up, we've got minus. This is 1 over cosh squared x. I'm going to split that up with the shine x. I'm going to say that that's shine x then divided by the cosh x. And then we've got the other 1 over cosh x, which we'll just put here, multiplied by 1 over cosh x. And so what we end up with is that this equals minus, this is than x, and 1 over cosh x is sech x. And that proves the result up here. Now when it comes to this last one, we have to differentiate with respect to x, cos x. Then I know this is 1 over than x, but it's not so easy to differentiate it that way, in my opinion. You can try differentiating that way, but cos x is the same as cosh x over shine x. So I'm going to differentiate it that way with respect to x. That is cosh of x over shine of x. And use the quotient rule here. So you might want to pause the video at this stage and carry on with this one. So just give you a moment to try that. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So using the quotient rule here, we're going to have the denominator shine x and multiply that with the differential of the numerator. So differential of cosh x is shine x. And then we'd have minus for the quotient rule. Take the top part of the fraction, so that's cosh x. Multiply it by the differential of the denominator. Differential of shine x is cosh x again. And this is all divided by the denominator squared. So that's shine of x. And that's all squared, or we could write it as shine squared x. So carrying on with this, we'll just put a dotted line in there. I'll write back that we're differentiating with respect to x, cos x. And carrying on then, what we've got is tidying this up. You've got shine squared x minus cos squared x. And hopefully you'll recognize what that identity is. But before we get there, it's all over shine squared x. So what is this identity here? Well, we should be familiar with cos squared x minus shine squared x. That's 1. So this is just going to be negative 1 on the top. So what we've got is minus 1 then, all divided by shine squared squared x. And 1 over shine x, well that's cosh x. So what we've got here is minus cosh squared x. And that's what we had to show. So that brings us to the end of this and in the next tutorials what I'll do is work with further questions that involve these functions. So uh, hopefully you'll try some of the examples in that next video.